Hello everyone, this is Arvind with Informatica and uh, today we are going to see how to create complex rules using TDM. So this is the agenda that I have for you today. To begin with, let's figure out and let's discuss as to what a complex rule is. And once that is done, let's go ahead and uh, look at today's scenario which is how to do an advanced email masking rule. And once we are done with that, um, uh, we will be looking at the demo itself. What are complex rules? Test data management offers a lot of uh, masking functions. However, there might be times where uh, we have to have the ability to create rules based on the business requirement or create specific rules that different departments in your organization might require or for that matter different teams in your organization might require. So these complex rules will help you achieve those targets. Also these complex rules will help you configure and tweak rules per your business requirements and convenience. More importantly you would be able to build these rules through the same simple easy to use web based graphical user interface. And in Today's demonstration, let's um, check how we can create an advanced email masking rule. So today we'll be figuring out how you can um, um, create an advanced masking rule. So the requirement that I, ha I have is to mask the first name, mask the last name, and then concat the first character of the first name and the last name with at the rate of informatica.com. And once that is done, we'll also be assigning the rule to a project. So power, uh, Informatica's test data management itself has its uh, masking rule. So this is one good example as to configuring or leveraging the advanced masking techniques or advanced rule creation techniques to tweak the rules to behave based on your business requirement. So now let's jump on to the demonstration. So now I'm into the Informatica's test data management workbench and uh, so let me go ahead and create a rule and let me name that rule as advanced email underscore masking underscore rule so all i need to do is choose this advanced radio button and click next so in here initially to begin with i need to add what might be the input columns to this rule so for our requirement we are going to have the first name and the last name as the input columns so the precision and scale I am uh, setting up setting them up to an optimal value value of like 50 and 10 and um, then let me also create a last name rule and this last name I'm sorry uh, let me also create a last name input port so this is um, the precision of this port is again 50 and the scale is 10 and now once I'm done with that, I need I'm going to go ahead and create a variable port. So these ports are analogous to the variable ports that we have inside of Power Center. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply the masking rule, the pre-built first name masking rule to mask the first name input column. So this is like I discussed earlier, this is in analogous, this is analogous to what we have inside of Power Center. So these variables would be used only within this particular rule. They don't have any meaning or any scope out of this particular rule. So let me turn off uh, the unique columns and input columns. Um, once they are done, so let me go also go ahead and add another uh, variable port called as variable underscore last name. So this will help me in um, masking my last name with the rule that uh, I have already in place. This uh, last name rule is a pre-built rule that is specified by Informatica itself and it's provided to you as well and you can uh, use them inside of any advanced tool or you can use those rules by yourself. And now let me go ahead and uh, create another variable port which will help me mask the email or help me create an email expression based on my business requirement. So in this case, now I'm going to use an expression and not uh, the masking rule. So in here, my expression is substring. 
so I'm going to have the first character of the mass first name so let me take one comma one and I'm going to concat that with the last name which is the mask value of the last name and with at the rate of informatica.com so where do I get these substring functions from you'll be able to see all those functions in here um, so if you click on the left navigation pane you can see the various functions and uh, we have also categorized those functions for you so that will make uh, your job a lot easier and uh, pressing this help button would uh, open up a context sensitive help using which you'll be able to understand how they have been uh, or how you can use these expressions if you have any doubts or questions about it. so let me click ok now let me go ahead and add create an output mast in here. let me make sure that the ports are increased and now what I'm doing is I'm assigning the uh, mast variable port to the output port so this way I will have them intact so in this screen you'll be able to see how the masking has been done so um, you have you can you can nicely rearrange them as well so I'm rearranging that for uh, your understanding so you can clearly see that uh, there is a data masking transformation which will mask the first name and there is another data masking transformation which will mask the last name and uh, we have an expression transformation which um, which takes the input from these two mappings and then we have another output expression or the output of this expression has been applied to another port which is being routed to the target so this graph would give you a clear indication as how the rule has been configured now that we have created the rule the next step is to go ahead and assign these rules to a project so i already have a project in here and uh, let me go ahead and quickly add that rule to this project and uh, if i drag this you can see that uh, this rule is in here already so let me go ahead and create the rule to assign this rule to a port i need to go to the define tab go to the data masking sub tab and uh, I can choose and click on specify so this will open up a pop-up and uh, all I need to do is map this one to the input and map the one to the output and we should be done so this brings to the us to the end of the demonstration and uh, we are open to any feedback that you might have for us so if you have any questions or concerns please do feel free to email to us at uh, support videos at informatica.com also you can uh, reach out to us at, uh, at our twitter account which is twitter.com slash info support thank you and you have a great day bye